Hey what's up, this is Analog here. If you look back at some of those iconic techwear images, one of the common things, one of the most important elements is in the pants, and often you'll find that they have a very similar look to them. They'll have a heavily tapered silhouette, they'll have lots of pocket detailing, maybe some fun straps as well. These days it feels like that kind of style is used a lot more in Taobao brands and those more affordable things. Perhaps the quality is not great, maybe they don't fit very well, maybe the actual functionality is not that great. So for this week, we're taking a look at a pair of cargo pants that definitely fits that typical techwear style, but from a far more reputable brand, um, a very well-known, very iconic brand in the form of Gorilla Group. They've come out with this season's PL02 cargo pants. Their clothing helped define the techwear aesthetic years back, but now they're taking inspiration from different areas. This most recent collection, Road Fighter, is based on the 90s Japanese car scene, which is pretty different to the super modern influence of what most people would associate with techwear. And with that said, part of this collection is right here, the 19S ES PL02, the paratrooper cargo pants. Um, thank you very much to Gorilla Group for sending these to me so I could do this video. These ones come in grey, I thought I'd do something a little bit different to the traditional black stuff. These come in at $340 retail, so of course we're expecting good things from these. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the features that you can expect, the overall quality and construction, and the aesthetics and the fit as well. First off, let's go over the features. These cargos have a nice big cargo pocket on each leg, and you can see immediately from this the mechanical workwear um, slightly retro inspiration. Not only do these have a nice button flap covering the front of these, but if you open that, you'll find that the pocket is split into two, um, which makes them quite narrow as if they're designed for tools and that kind of thing. So there's certainly no lack of different places to put your stuff here. Um, but if you're worried about these pockets being narrow, then don't worry too much because behind this, there's a zipped pocket, um, which is a similar size, but not split into two. And these are super voluminous. So you can pretty much get anything that you want in those big ones. Even things that are quite weighty, partly because of the positioning and the size and shape of these, which I think is really nice. Certainly looks good on these cargos, I think. And partly because of the material, which is really solid. And that's something that I'll talk about a little bit more in detail later. The main front pockets are perhaps not quite as big as you would expect them to be, but they're still decent. They're certainly big enough to get a phone or a wallet or anything that you might normally carry there. Like the cargo pocket, these are secured with a buttoned flap, which is quite unusual and certainly gets that mechanical workwear aesthetic across. It does, for me, make them a little bit less usable though, because I do find it annoying. If I'm taking my phone in and out of my pocket, you've got that little flap to deal with. So I found myself using the zipped cargo pockets as my main ones, things that I want uh, constant access to, because it's a bit easier and quicker, I find, to do and undo that zip than it is mess about with a little flap. But for keeping things secure, and if you're gonna have things in your pockets for a long time, then having that button flap is certainly welcome. The back pockets are also secured with a material flap, although these ones have a button which attaches to a little piece of material that's hidden underneath the main flap itself. So that keeps things super secure, but it does make it a little bit of a pain to use if you plan on doing and undoing that button. It's really difficult to actually attach it because of that hidden mechanism. Also, one of the buttons on mine has come off. I have no idea where it went, um, or what happened to it, because the other one feels like it's on there really securely. Um, so yeah, RIP, that one. The paratrooper straps that sit under the leg are essentially an aesthetic detail. What you'd normally use these for is to secure the contents of cargo pockets, but because these are attached to the inside, you can't really use them for that. They're just there to chill out and dangle. Um, I think having the black straps mixed with the grey cargos makes them pop a little bit, um, but they're not too over the top still because they do sit on the inside. You don't have these big straps hanging down or anything like that. These are a little bit adjustable as well, so you can have these a bit more or less dangly depending on your preference. And yes, this is a hashtag techwear aesthetic dangly strap, but I think the integration here is pretty tasteful. It's well executed. It's certainly not as wacky or over the top as a lot of these Taobao brands will go and have these massive things dangling off the outside. So so yeah, I think the integration is fine here. One other functional detail is at the cuffs. Underneath there's a little drawstring which can be pulled to cinch in the cuffs and help adjust the fit. That's something that I would definitely recommend making use of because these run pretty long. Um, that cinching is designed to get some good stacking going on with these cargos, but if you don't use it, I find that it doesn't sit in a particularly flattering way on a lot of shoes. But being able to cinch them in really helps with that all-important pant shoe interaction. Do note as well that I'm above 
above average height, I'm 6'1", I'm wearing a medium here, and I've got these pulled up fairly high, these are sitting around my waist, and even then, they appear visibly quite long. So if you're not as vertically gifted as myself, then you might actually want to consider getting these hemmed um, to remove some of that excess length, so that you can still keep them looking a little bit long, having a bit of stacking, but not too crazy and over the top. But of course, that depends on your aesthetic preferences. Aside from the super long length of these though, I think the fit is pretty good. I normally wear a waist 33 in pants, and as I say, these ones are a medium, and I think they fit pretty fine. They've got a tiny little bit of room, but nothing that a belt can't help sort out. So I'd say that these fit similarly to Nike Lab ACG cargoes, Enfant Leve, um, those kinds of brands that normally come up with a slightly oversized waist. What about the quality and the construction of these? In previous years, Gorilla Group has very much been a brand associated with the techwear aesthetics rather than performance and high quality construction elements. And although these are my first pair of Gorilla Group cargoes, I've got to say that I am pleasantly surprised here. The Cordura fabric is very durable, it's very sturdy, it feels like a genuine piece of workwear rather than a flimsy fashion item. And although that doesn't make them as comfortable to wear as a material like shoulder dry skin, I would have far more faith in these when it comes to abrasion resistance or if I was doing any kind of manual work or any situation where I might get another pair of cargoes damaged, I think these would do a much better job of surviving. That durability is also evident in the stitching and in the hardware as well. Again, apart from that mystery button, no idea what happened with that one, but everything else feels like it's very well secured, feels like everything is very nicely finished, and you'll also notice reinforced elements over the seat and over the knees as well. Again, helping with that feeling that these are genuinely designed for actual long-term durability rather than just being a fashion item. That knee reinforcement, you can actually feel that when you're moving around in these, but I don't think it's super uncomfortable, it's just something that you'll probably notice. All in all, I really like that these cargoes combine the aesthetics of techwear with both the aesthetics and performance of a workwear piece. It's clear that Gorilla Group have taken inspiration not just from an aesthetic perspective, but have ingrained that into the material and the construction as well, which I think is really cool. For that reason, in terms of what to wear with these, I think you can go for an oversized tee or a hoodie or something like that and run a bit more with that slightly retro looking mechanic kind of style, just as much as a futuristic technical performance jacket. It was quite warm when I filmed this, so I took a bit of a casual take on this idea. I went for the Outlier Supermarine hat, a Stone Island Shadow Project graphic tee, and the ACG Comme des Garçons Moabs. These are one of the chunkiest shoes that I have, and to be honest, this is really the minimum of what I would want to go for when pairing up with these. Because they are so long and they have so much stacking, if you try and go for anything with a slimmer silhouette than this, the trousers are just totally gonna drown them out. So you do have to go with something that I think is very, very chunky. Um, some sneaker boot type stuff I think would go great. I really wanted to get some of the uh, SF Air Force Ones, but just when I wanted them, I couldn't seem to find any decent ones anywhere. That very long length is one of the few potential downsides here. I think these would have benefited from being an inch or two shorter. So you still have some stacking going on. I still like that effect, but just a little bit less extreme than it currently is, and perhaps a little bit more wearable to people that are average or even below average height. And although the rigidity of the cordura fabric and the reinforcement means that they're not quite as comfortable to wear as some other techwear cargoes, there is an upside to that. As I say, if I was in some situation where I would be concerned concerned of another pair of cargoes getting damaged, I would definitely find myself reaching for the Gorilla Group PLO2 instead. The cost certainly isn't small, coming in at $340, but as with other pants in this price range, they do combine the aesthetic that a lot of people want and performance aspects and good quality construction as well. I also think it's cool Gorilla Group taking inspiration from these unusual, these unconventional sources and creating these cohesive collections that represent a little bit of a different way of looking at techwear, and I think that's something cool that uh, I can certainly be inspired from, and hopefully a lot of other people can as well. And that's all I have to say on the Gorilla Group 19S ES PLO2, the paratrooper cargo pants. Let me know what you guys think of them down there in the comments. Do you think these make a good option for some cool techwear cargo pants that mix that aesthetic with performance, or would you prefer something that maybe is a little bit lighter weight, is a little bit more fashion-based as opposed to um, durability and workwear based too. And what do you think of the colour as well? Do you think I made the right choice for going for the grey ones, or do you think I should have stuck with the traditional black? Either way, let me know down there in the comments because I'm going to be checking through all of them, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week in the next video. 
I'm recording this before last week's video is out, so I can't really do any shout outs, but hopefully you guys noticed in this video, the video upgrade, I did change the camera. So um, yeah, I hope you guys appreciated the nicer quality shots. Um, I'm really excited that the, the future videos are gonna be looking that a little bit crispier, which is good. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you wanna catch some more, there's gonna be links going up there as always. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then you definitely should hit the little circular button ding the bell, do all the cool stuff, and then you can be notified when the next cool techwear videos go up every Sunday, 6 p.m. BST. We out here grinding, doing some cool video stuff, and that's everything. <laughs>